I agree three days. Picture the scene, if you will. You're in your man cave or your studio. You're waiting on that one print, but you've run out of resin. All you've got lying around is little bits of resin and they have no correlation to each other. You've got some standards. You've got some ABS. You've got some clear. They're different manufacturers. Could you throw them all together? Just give it a stir, throw it into a print and get them to print a perfect print. Let's have a look. So let's start with some basic Sunlu, some solid grey basic Sunlu resin. In it goes into the vat, but it's not going to be alone in there. It's going to get some in logic high detail as well, followed by some water washable ceramic grey from Elegoo. It's more Elegoo ABS3, ABS like I should say, in that goes to JO, a black resin, ABS like. Well, we hate black resins, don't we? They don't work well. Let's see how we get on. Let's give it a little bit of a mix. Now, so far, all these resins are going to have different settings, different exposure times. Let's add some skin colour some water washable from jam j get that in there too but hey let's add some clear resin some clear from nova in it goes look at that wonderful and some green from jam j oh we've got a shed load in there all different kinds what a cacophony of resins all mixed in different exposure settings base layer level this is never going to print is it it's never going to work is it no yes what do you think? I know what my money's on. We're going to go over to the Blueprint Slicer. I'm going to select the RS. I'm going to say we're using the Pulse Release Module. I'm going to tell it we're using some standard resin and some PARP 10 at 50 microns. That's it. That's the only settings we're going to tell it we're doing. And I'm going to use the Frozen XP test. It's my go-to test, really. And I've done it so many times, I know exactly what I'm looking out for. In it goes into the slicer. And I'm going to slice this, and I'm just going to send it straight across to the RS and there we go the print is underway look at all those wonderful hypnotic colors of different kinds of resins now you cannot tell me that any old printer that you choose will print these perfectly you you, you won't imagine that will happen with the rs will you well let's come back to it in about 20 minutes and look at that something has printed it looks like a frozen xp test well the resin has turned to a sort of ceramic -y gray color but uh Let's get it off the bill plate if it comes off without breaking. And it comes off absolutely perfectly. It's been washed in IPA. It's been cured. And that, to me, looks like a darn good print. Let's have a closer look at it, shall we? Now, for those of you that doubted me when I said that the RS was the best resin printer of 2024, I present to you Exhibit A. This is a mixture of all those resins that you saw and it is perfect please challenge me on it if you want to there's no overexposure in this there's no underexposure that is perfect and that's with a whole host of resins different exposure times needed different base layers rest time between prints etc etc but the rs from hay gears has battered it let's do something a bit more interesting so I'm going to use this free Captain America zombie that I got from Colts 3D to free file. I've used it on my previous video, so this file was already in the printer, ready to go. So I thought, what a great test. And a couple of hours later, there it is. It's printed with that amalgam, that cacophony of resins. And it looks like it's printed beautifully. You can never really tell until you get it off the bill plate. But first inspection, as far as I can see, that looks darn good. Will it come off the bill plate? How easy or hard is it? Well, it's absolutely fallen off. It has come off like a butter. It's slipped off with the uh, spatula. Again, a sign of a good resin. The resin has not stuck to the plate. I'm going to give it a good old clean in the Hay Gears uh, wash station, giving it a waggle in dirty and then in some clean IPA and we can have a better look at it then heating the supports with a hairdryer and they literally just fall away another great sign of a great resin and also the hay gear slicer now what amazed me with this bit was with the uh, back of captain america's head there's hardly any divots there's a few there but i'm seeing less divots there than i saw in some of the other resin tests i've done using this model so amazing I just can't believe this was a whole host of different resins randomly put in in random amounts and mixed together and look what they've done they've just created a beautiful beautiful model i think we need to have a closer look at it i think we need to look at it in a little bit more detail so we can see up close and here it is now 
I, I don't really know what to say here because what I'm holding in my hand has proved the point. So the Hagius Autograph Reflex RS is so advanced that it can take a whole host of resins that are thrown into it with no particular setting apart from its very own PARP 10. All these resins will require different exposures and base layers and lifting distances and pauses between prints, etc. And if you had them individually on your printer, I would suggest you can have to tune them all in. Well, this printer has just had a mix of them all and has thrown out an absolutely perfect print. What can I say? The As I say, the Captain America bus that I'm holding, this zombie here, it says it all. This printer is truly, truly amazing. You must be absolutely fed up to the back teeth of me praising the Autograph Reflex RS. But I have to say, in all my years experience in 3D printing, this machine, it's kind of like fallen from the heavens. It is an amazing bit of kit. It is so reliable. It is so consistent. And you've seen me throw a load of random resins and random amounts into this machine, and it's thrown out a perfect perfect print it uses all sorts of wizardry jiggery pokery sensors peel force monitoring all sorts of things to make sure that the print it throws out is the best it can and all i try and do is make it as difficult for the thing as possible and each time it seems to pull through beautifully now if you want to get hold of one of these printers there is a link down below it's an affiliate link and there'll be a 50 dollar off code uh, all down below in the uh in, in the comment section so if you want to buy one and you want to get a few quid off it's down below now i'm not telling you this so that you buy one it's up to you whether you buy one or not and i don't even tell you this so you buy one from me go and buy one from anywhere you like it is an amazing amazing printer and it's the it's the reason and one of the reasons why i said it's the best 3d printer of 2024 by far it's head and shoulders above all the others now what i'd like to know is have you done similar on a different kind of printer and how have you got on have you mixed two resins three resins four resins if you mixed as many as i have to get this result let me know in the comments below what you've achieved has it worked for you has it not worked for you i'd be really interested to hear you because i don't think anything but the rs is going to do a job like that one's done today and if you like what you see today and you like the sort of things we do here on greedy 3d i really would appreciate you to hit the subscribe button it's quick it's cheap it's free you just hit it and, and i'll be your best friend forever i'll send you christmas cards and everything um if you like again what you see join the patreon it's free if you want it to be free if you want to donate a couple of quid a month just to help the channel you can do that but you don't have to it's free to join and i'd love to have you on there and thank you to my patrons you guys i love you guys for your support thank you and for your help thank you thank you so much um please leave a comment below let me know what you think i think the rs is the best printer you can buy hands down it's not the cheapest printer i know it's not cheap but it's not expensive it's just a brilliant printer it's worth every penny it's worth every penny i promise you it is um let me know what you think and i'll see you next time on greedy 3d thank you